Does any senator think it's acceptable for any federal warrant application to include seven significant inaccuracies and omissions? But this wasn't just a run-of-the-mill warrant. It was a FISA warrant to snoop on a presidential campaign. This is just one of the realities that President Trump's Democratic critics spent years calling conspiracy theories or inventions of the president's mind. Yet here it is, in black and white, from exactly the kind of independent inspector general the Democrats rushed to embrace when convenient. Sadly, this was no isolated incident. Just recently, Attorney General Barr has had to take the incredible step of unwinding a DOJ prosecution of another former Trump advisor because the government's case against him was unfair and distorted as well. It was largely on the basis of these proceedings that Democrats and the media spent years fixating on wild theories of Russian collusion. But upon investigation, the Mueller investigation, remember that one? It is those wild allegations that collapsed along with the credibility of several of these investigations that helped create the cloud of suspicion in the first place. As if this debacle needed even more shocking behavior, I understand a federal judge may try to continue prosecuting one of these cases even though the prosecution itself wants to drop it. The judge has taken it upon himself to go browsing for other hostile parties. Obviously, that subverts our constitutional order in which the executive alone decides whether to prosecute cases. No matter what some Washington Democrats may try to claim, you're not crazy or a conspiracy theorist if you see a pattern of institutional unfairness toward this president. You would have to be blind not to see one. You'd have to be blind not to see one. All of this is why the Senate passed important FISA reforms in last week's bill to help bring accountability and transparency into that flawed process. And we aren't nearly finished. And just yesterday, Chairman Graham announced the Judiciary Committee will vote on a serious new set of subpoenas so the Senate can hear directly from key players like James Comey, Andrew McCabe, Loretta Lynch, and many others to continue getting to the bottom of this. So let me say that again. Senate Republicans are taking steps to issue new subpoenas to a wide variety of Obama administration officials with some relationship to the abuses I've just laid out. The American people deserve answers about how such abuses could happen, and we intend to get those answers.